Hi guys, I'm Shemi and today I'm just going to teach you guys about how to buy Bitcoin from New Zealand. So I'm getting a few questions about like, um, oh, do you invest in Bitcoin? You know, like, um, what do you trade cryptocurrencies and stuff like that? So, um, yes, so I am a little bit of getting away from the New Zealand market and trading cryptos lower because there's just some huge swings in the crypto market. And then, um, but it's a market where it's probably not the best market if you're starting out. I mean, there's a lot of you know stocks just sorry uh, cryptocurrency that just going down hard out. They're going up 20%. They're going up like even like 100, 200%. And the reason why these cryptocurrencies are going up all over the world is simple. It's because like with New Zealand, um, there's only so much market participants. Whereas like um, with cryptocurrencies, like the whole entire world is kind of trading cryptocurrencies. Like everyone in the world knows about it. You can trade it from any single country and just like yeah, it's a massive marketplace. And uh, and the thing that the thing that moves stocks, you know, cryptocurrencies, commodities, everything, it's just all just like um basically emotions. Um, you know, anywhere where there's people involved there's like money to be made, basically, because like um you know, if if let's say like a, a company is getting like uh, heaps of exposure around the world or something and then um you know and, and the, the marketing around that is saying like um you know, this company's the best, you know, it's ma making a lot of money and stuff then everyone's going to look at that news at all at the same time and going to start to buy it. So what happens is when everyone starts to buy something all at once, then the price starts to move higher. So so it's not just like stocks. There's, all, there's heaps of different things out there. But um, but this video, this is going to be solely um just to, just to explain what is the safest and true tested way to buy Bitcoin in New Zealand. So there's a lot of like a Bitcoin scans, scams and stuff. So... um. So I'm here to make it a bit easier for you guys that want to like invest in crypto early for the for the future or if you want to start to get into like crypto trading and all. So yeah, so let's go. So I've so this is the way I've invested my money in crypto. So I've um I've deposited money into um so basically I made a deposit, it's turned into Bitcoin and it's um come into my Binance account. So Binance, I'll just show you on the screen here. Um so this is Binance. If you want to look at Binance, um, so Binance is something, I haven't really tried anything else, but I've just tried this way and it's worked super safe. I've done a deposit of money and I've also withdrawn it as well. So it's come, so it's gone from my account and I've traded a little bit and then I took out some money just to see um, whether it does work and it does work. So perfect. Um, yeah, so this is Binance here. So Binance is really cool. So for anyone that wants to trade cryptocurrencies or get into it, um, this has all your uh, your tools already, so you don't have to pay for any tools. Um, unlike the US, if you're using like a, you know scanning software and all that type of stuff, you have to or like Dash Trader Pro, you have to pay all these fees. Um, here's pretty easy. So first off, I'll just show you how to um, get some crypto into your Binance account. So basically, so I'll just do that again. So Easy Crypto, Easy Crypto is the site that I use. So it'll be this AI one here. So easy crypto, best way to buy and sell Bitcoin is in. So this is legit. So I've tried it. Um, I've put forward like you know five thousand bucks or something, and it all works. So yes, yeah, so basically, um, if you want to deposit like a you know a thousand bucks in there or five hundred bucks, you simply press buy now, and then um, yeah, so let's press it here. And let's say you want to sign in. Um, uh, sign off email so I'll sign off my email there I'm just signing off my email account now so just use your email account um, it's all good nice and safe and it'll come off like a you know two-step verification whatever so I think with Binance is like it's and like trading cryptocurrencies like they made it really secure so meaning that it's quite hard for you to yeah, lose money on this. So it's like a true and tested way. Cool. So you'll get into this section here. And basically, it'll ask for a Bitcoin address. So a lot of people will confuse. What, what's a Bitcoin address? How do I get a Bitcoin address? Um, so basically, the way you want to do this is if you go to your uh, Bitcoin account. So after you've created an account on this, so if you go into Binance, create an account, um, and then you'll just, after you create an account, you get these options here. And you just go to your wallet and you just go to this one, deposit and withdraw. 
So, hang on, I'll just let this load for a bit. So basically, when you get to this, so that's my account in Bitcoin, so I have like 6,500 bucks or whatever. Um, and these are all the coins I've traded in the past. So you always have like a little couple of cents worth of like, you know, random different coins. Um, yeah, so you just press deposit here. And then what this will show you is this Bitcoin address. So make sure you're on crypto um, and then, you know, you want to deposit Bitcoin. So you don't want to deposit anything else. It wants to be Bitcoin. Best thing is to take it forward from like a, always, always put into Bitcoin and then put into whatever you want after that. So, um, so basically what I'll do is I'll just copy this address here. So it's got a shortcut to copy the address. Go back here. Then you want to paste that one. Uh, paste and that's your bitcoin address there so then you just want to go to next step and then you just choose the um choose the way you want to pay so the way i usually do i just do polypay it's just easy it has a one percent fee but pfft, it's all good and you just go to polypay and then it has to come from your own account so basically all your payments that come from your so basically if you're depositing money from like a your bank account you have to make sure that the Binance account and the bank account you're deposit, depositing from it has to be in the same sort of sort of uh, full name so it just makes it a bit more easier so then you say I confirm and then you just go pay with polypay and then you're good to go so basically you got your coins you're buying Bitcoin 500 bucks worth 500 bucks is going to turn into this um, and then you got your address there then what happens when you do uh, deposit the money uh, about four, about 10 minutes or even like about half an hour or something, um, your coin should be in your account. So you'll just go back to your spot wallet. Um, so let this load. Yeah, so basically your estimated balance will show up and you'll be like, sweet, this worked. And in order to withdraw, um, simple thing, if you want to withdraw the balance, so say crypto, you want to withdraw your Bitcoin. So say you want to withdraw all your um, so, so I'll just go back here. Yeah, so you just want to go back to here, um, and you just want to go like a uh, Bitcoin to New Zealand. So let's say um, you want to, so you have about that much Bitcoin, zero point three five six or whatever, and just chuck it in here, and then just go sell now, and then the price is shown. Card will process your order at the market rate. Blah 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 blah. Then you go get your Bitcoin address. Um, I confirm that. Before you give it a deposit, you confirm your deposit the exact amount shown. So you have to deposit the exact amount of um, Bitcoin. So make sure, like, if if you have a little bit left over, then it's all good. Because um, the price of Bitcoin like fluctuates up and down. So I confirm, and here's your Bitcoin address. So you copy that one, click to copy, and then please read if you deposit or receive in two hours, you'll cancel. Blah blah blah. So basically, just deposit into this Bitcoin address. Um, and then, so you just go, whoops, paste. Sweet, transfer network, uh, Bitcoin amount, and then you just go submit. So, so basically you'll just go, um, whoops. So transferring Bitcoin and basically we're transferring it back to these guys here, the easy crypto people. Cool. So when you come down to here, um, you only need this if you want to sell crypto to us. We don't need it to buy crypto. So basically, um, when you do withdraw the funds, when you take your um, Bitcoin address here, then your funds should come into here and they'll just deposit it back into the same um, bank account that you use to um, uh, deposit from. So... Yes, yeah, so that's basically how to um, buy Bitcoin safely, securely, um, and how to also 
withdraw it so you can deposit it back into your bank account. So it's pretty easy. So basically, Easy Crypto is the way to do it. Um, and I would highly suggest this one. So I've done it a few times now, so it's all good. Now, so now that we've got there, people know how to you know put money into crypto now. Um, people know how to withdraw it, so that part's clear. That's cool. Now I want to show you the cool parts of Binance that I really like, um, and that's basically if you go trade. So I probably did that a bit too fast, but if you go trade and you go advanced, then you get to use their trading platform, and their trading platform is super cool. Um, so if you have a trading view account already, then it should show up. So the thing about um the the trading platform that I really like is that it's all live. Um, you can get in and out of trades super quick. Um, you can also yes, yeah, so you can get in and out of trades super quick. Um, you have different order types. So if you want to put a stop loss, um, then you can do do that. So it also shows the highest percentage gainers. So um, hang on, I'll just show you on my phone. And the thing is, it has a really cool app on the phone. So if you there you go. So I wonder if you guys can do that. See that? So these are all the cryptos that are going up. Like, just, you know, it's just a shitload of coins just, you know, jumping up and down like 20% or whatever. So let's check it. Let's check some out. So CRV. So sometimes I go into this one and just check if there's any, like, uh, you know, pretty bullish patterns going on. So here we go. This looks like it's the first day. Um, so this looks like it's just had an ICO today, and an ICO basically means initial coin offering. Uh, it's kind of like IPO, initial public offering. But um, yeah, so if you go into the five minute chart, you can see how it's trading. So it's kind of downtrending. So nope, don't want to buy that. Let's see your other, uh, if you go change here. It's quite a liquid market too. You can actually chuck like two, three grand behind it. Like it's, it's pretty, pretty liquid, which is good. Because um, the thing is, these high percentage gainers, these five, you know, 500%, 40%, these 40%, you know, like, people are watching it all around the world. There's so many market participants out there. Like, if something's looking bullish, then people just can all, like, you know, flock into the, the coin and just, like, drag the price upwards. So, let's see. There's obviously different times that it's more volatile uh, and not, so. I love these massive moves. And the, the good thing about the crypto market, I've noticed that a lot of the, um, you know, support, resistance, a lot of technical patterns, um, you, it's even got the volume beneath. Like, the best thing is got the volume. The thing is, me personally, I don't think you even need, like, um, you know, moving averages and stuff like that. It helps you determine, like, the short, you know, the trend kind of thing. But you can just see it from looking at price action. So price action is just basically trading these little boxes here. You know, which way is the price going? These boxes just represent, like, uh, you know, time. This is live, and the best thing it has is, so just like in New Zealand, we use that market depth. Um, so in crypto, you use, you know, the same thing, the order book. Market depth, order book, level two, it's all the same thing. And the only hard thing about this uh, time and sales or uh, order book is that the amounts, you know, you can't see what the dollar amount is, and that's why you just got to have like a, um, you know, crypto calculator kind of thing. I'm always typing in. So I'm not, I'm still quite new to this market, so I'm still trying to pick it up you know, how it works. I've been mean, throwing trades around, you know, I've been up like 300 bucks, down 200 bucks, or up 500 bucks, down 100 bucks. You know, I've been, you know, up and down. So it's still in the same place. Um, yeah. So let's see if we can find some other coins. What's this one? Uh, SNX. See, this one looking like a good one. So this is on a five minute chart. So this is a continuing trend higher. And you, as you can see, the price is going higher. And I'm just going to do a really small trade for you guys just to see like um, how it works. So so we're going to five minute chart. All right, so I am going to buy using about, um, you know, like 5% of my account. I'm going to buy at, let's say, just 58 or something, like 580. So if I go here, 5800. All right, 58, hang on, uh, 58. See how the price drops like up and down really fast? So this is what the, like, the true traders use. It's a fast market out there. Got to be careful. Um, but yeah, this one's probably not looking, or, you know, over time will probably trend. You've got to give it some time, eh? You've got to give it room to wiggle around and keep going higher. I think if you're trying to make, like, super fast gains, then you're sculping, basically. But you got to let the, you know, you got to let the um, thing play out. But I know um, these type of stocks, you know, I mean, uh, you know, crypt coins, they go hard, so... 
All right, so let's buy at um, you know fifty eight or whatever. Oh, Seventy. They got a large spread too, so got with these coins, you got to be a bit careful. They got like a spread of like. What's the spread here? Um, 71 to 60, 11 cent, 11 cent sort of spread. So, anyways, we'll buy a coin. Uh, 50, what is that? 57, 60. Yeah, this is dropping, eh? So, this to me looks like it's going to revert back here. The thing with these um, cryptos, you can kind of tell, like, I think it's now exploded higher, so it's going to retest this sort of, um, you know, resistance to sort of support. So it's probably going to come rushing back here. Then it's going to bounce here and go there, then probably bounce a bit higher. So yeah, I just got a risk warning on my phone, and um, it's all good. It's just to say that oh, you recently attempted to log into your Binance account, um, you know. Just yeah, so yeah, this is exactly what's probably going to happen. Um, so basically, when you see the you know, when you see a green candle hold there, you'll stick your stop about here or just like half a range under and you'll let it fly. So, if I had to plan this trade. My um, actually my headset battery is going a bit low. I think that's why I'm hearing like BP noises. Um, in long position. So let's say it went back here, and it held. Then yep, that's where my. You know you probably adjust it back up here, and then you got a two percent risk reward ratio. So this is exactly how I trade this one. Um, as you can see, it's coming back down. But that's just an example. Like the thing is, like I've just been like you know trying to see you know like different trends and different patterns and stuff that are working i'm still trying to find like high probability patterns so this is quite a high probability one the retest of the support that used to be a resistance so different things like that um will help you to kind of um you know figure out like how to trade and stuff like that so but um yeah i was going to show you guys a trade yeah i sh probably should all right stuff that i'll just make it last just to show you guys all right 50, let's see if I can catch one at 5, 9, 5, wait, 5, 6, 5, 6, 8, oh, I'm just going to buy like with 5% of my account, there you go, so, see that order down there is filling, so 11% filled, 56, 80, so someone's, and you can see from the yellow dot there, that's my order, it's just sitting there, so it needs to be, um, you know, uh, it needs to be filled, so it's not getting filled at the moment. So when the price does drop that low, so here we go. Price is dipping, 56.80, 72% filled, 82% filled. It's going for it. 82% filled. Nope, nope, nope. You can even see like the limit orders over here. And uh, so the good thing about this one looking like it's um quite bullish with the with the volume coming in. Um looking like it's about to break out now. So I'll cancel that order. And then what I'm gonna do is because it's starting to break out, um I'll probably look to sell. So whoops. So I'll go over here and I'll just go sell. So I want to sell hundred percent of my SNX. Um and then I'll probably look to get out at about so how much should I buy it for? Like 5680. So I'm going to get out at 5740 or 57. 57. 5742. Let's just say 5742. So now my order's in the market at 5742. So as you can see from that yellow dot there. Um, and we'll see if we get filled or not. So this is like a quick scalping trade. Um, usually I wouldn't trade like this. I just, you know, I'm making the video, so I want to show like how to, how you actually buy, how you actually sell something. So here we go. Now, so that was my buy. So basically, I bought it at um, yeah triple zero five six eighty, and I sold it at triple zero five seven four two. So in terms of Bitcoin or whatever, um, 
you know, it was at 0 0.0147. So now I got 0 0.0148. So I made like a little bit of money. I'm not sure how much, but that's okay. It didn't retest that low. So things don't always go out as you plan, especially when you're trading. You can only make your, your best sort of guess and you just kind of go with it. But the most important thing, like I say in more of my videos, is like manage that risk, you know, like you want to stay in the game long term. But um, yeah, anyway, this is like NZ Day Trading Channel, but um, you know, this is a little bit of talk about crypto as well. It's pretty interesting, this crypto stuff. I mean, it's starting to make me, it's taking me away from the New Zealand market a little bit. And if we get locked down, then sh you know, this is all I'm going to be doing. <laughs> you lock me in my room, I'm just going to stay on this stuff, you know, 24-7. It's like, shit, don't disturb me, you know what I mean? Um, yeah.